Well, good things come to those who wait. Dwight Howard, bespeckled and ready to be introduced as the newest member of the Los Angeles Lakers. Howard has averaged 18 and 9 over his eight-year career. Let's listen in to what's going on out in Los Angeles. Thank everybody uh, for coming here on short notice on a Friday afternoon in Los Angeles. I know what that means to everybody here. Um, but our, our options for the press conference were Saturday and Sunday, and John Black has a wedding to go to on Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> so rather than wait till Monday, we're having the press conference on a Friday afternoon in Los Angeles. Before I begin, um, I'd like to recognize the contributions of three players that were traded today, Christian Ianga, uh, Josh McRoberts, both of which who were here for a year or less, uh, young promising players, you know, we wish them well and we thank them for their contributions. Uh, the other player that I'd like to recognize, Andrew Bynum, uh, has been with us for seven years. And I remember quite vividly having his press conference right here on this floor seven years ago when he chose number 17 because he was 17 years old. Uh, Andrew is a, a bright, hardworking uh, man who's going to have a very successful and productive NBA career, and we wish him well in Philadelphia. There's been a lot of speculation regarding Dwight being traded for the last six to eight to months to a year. Today, finally, the speculation comes to an end. And we're hopeful that 10 years from now, we can add a jersey onto that wall over there that says Dwight Howard. So at this time, I'd like to introduce the newest Los Angeles Laker, Dwight Howard. Oh, well, uh, first of all, I just, just want to thank God for uh, today and uh, just this opportunity. I'm so blessed to be able to step on the court again, you know, uh, and it means a lot to me. And I'm just happy to be back, you know, uh, just sitting down in the hotel for four months. It's very tough on somebody like myself. You know, but, uh, you know, God has blessed me, and uh, I really appreciate, you know, things more now than I did before the surgery. And, uh, you know, I'm just happy. You know, I'm happy to be in front of you guys. You know, I'm happy to be here in, in L.A. You know, I've been in L.A. for four months, and it's like it's been home for me. You know, it's been great. You know, I started off walking around Beverly Hills. And uh, every day, you know, I had, you know, this one lady who would always come, hey, come to the Lakers, come to the Lakers. And uh, if she's watching, I'm here, you know, so uh, <laughs> your wish came true. Uh, but <clears throat> uh, also, I just want to thank, you know, the city of Orlando and all the fans in Orlando for eight great years. Uh, you guys were the best. You know, I've had some great memories uh, sitting back, you know, in my room last night, you know, just thinking about all the things that have happened to me while being in Orlando, uh, the Superman uh, dunk, uh, the dunk over Tim Duncan, going to the finals and just, just seeing the city on fire, you know, 
for basketball, you know, is great. And I uh, just, I wish the organization, you know, a lot of success. Uh, thank Rich DeVos for drafting me eight years ago. And uh, now I'm happy to be a Laker. You know, now it's, <laughs> I'm so excited. I mean, I, it's really hard to talk. Um, I couldn't sleep last night. You know, I had tried not try to stay away from ESPN. And as soon as I turned it on, it said breaking news. And I'm like, uh-oh. And it says you traded. So I'm, I'm like, oh, man. You know, thank God. So I'm just happy right now. That's it. Questions? Thank you. Uh, well, uh, it was just a very tough situation for everybody to let go. And, uh, you know, I'm just finally glad that it's over with. You know, uh, myself and, you know, the Magic organization, we can all start over uh, and, and, you know, begin, you know, a new career. You know, this uh, today is a fresh new start for all of us. And uh, I'm happy that it's finally over. Um, I'm just, like I said, I'm happy to be here. Uh, officially, and uh, it's just great. It's just great. I, I'm so so happy right now. It's, it's hard to talk, hard to think. I'm just happy. Uh, my health is, is is great. You know, I'm getting a lot better, getting a lot stronger every day, and I'm looking forward to the doctor saying you're free to play. Yeah, I can't wait for that day. Uh, well, I think. Uh, it's time for change for my life, you know, and it's time for a fresh start for myself and for the Magic, you know. And uh, I'm just looking forward to the challenge. I'm looking forward to being here representing the Laker organization. And, you know, today is, is Laker Day, you know. Uh, what happened, you know, in the past is behind me now. Uh, I've grown a lot in these four months, you know, but I'm looking forward to starting here, starting fresh today. And, um, Doing the best I can, you know, for the city of Los Angeles. Wait, as everybody knows, you're going to be a free agent. Have you uh, said anything to the, to the Lakers? Have you assured them that, uh, that you'll resign with them, or have you made that decision? Well, right now, it's, it's about today, and today is uh, the day that I'm here with the Lakers, and, you know, that's the only thing that matters. You know, whatever happens a year from now, you know, we'll wait to that time, but right now, uh, it's all about the Lakers and uh, me starting fresh. So, you know, I'm, I'm very excited about that. Except for the starting fresh part. Isn't that what you told Orlando? Well, like I said, you know, I'm happy to be here. And, you know, that's the only thing that matters right now. Oh, well, you know, just here, you know, representing this organization now is, is great. You know, I've always loved the city of L.A. Um, and just being here for four months, you know, it's basically like I lived here. And uh, the city has shown me so much love, you know, from day one. Uh, and I just want to really thank all the people who were there during my surgery, uh, the people who helped me uh, get back to where I am today. You know, I want to thank those people. And, uh, you know, this city has been so great to me so far, and uh, they welcome me with open arms. Uh, the city of LA is getting now that you are here. Uh, talk about the, uh, the expectation of playing with Kobe Bryant, uh, Steve Nash, and also Howard Sol, and how powerful is it? Well, you know, uh, everybody's going to expect a lot out of us. And uh, I know for myself, I'm going to give you guys 100%. You know, that's the way I play. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to smile. I'm going to go dunk block some shots, rebound, and have fun. You know, that's what I do best. And uh, I'm just looking forward to, to getting back on the court again. You know, I, I miss it so much. Uh, it was taken away from me, you know, and I just, I just want to get back out on the court and uh, just have fun again, you know, uh, dap up some fans, you know, and, and just have fun. You know, I, I miss it, you know, so this is the first step. I have. I, I talked to him last night. You want to hear? Uh, 
<laughs> you know, well, I called Kobe. He said, what's up, Dwight? You know, how you doing? You know? <laughs> and, <laughs> so I was like, man, I'm just happy. <laughs> and he would say, hey, man, yo, 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 listen, yo. You know, LA is happy to have you. You know, you're part of the team now, you know. You know, and, um, you know, we're looking forward to, you know, getting this, getting this ring, man, you know. You know, I'm happy for you, man. It's, it's all over with, you know. I'm happy for you, you know, so. <laughs> I was like, thanks, Kobe, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> and I'm, uh, get that gold medal, and let's, let's get back to work when you get down here. So that's the first person I talked to, and uh, hopefully I can talk to the rest of the guys later. That's that's behind us now, you know. Um, for me, <clears throat> I want to be a great leader, and I have an opportunity to learn from the best, you know, in Kobe on how to lead a team. And in order to, to, to be a great leader, you have to learn how to follow. And I'm looking forward to uh, following, you know, in the steps of Kobe Bryant and how he leads the team. And uh, Steve Nash and Powell, you know, and just the guys who've been here, the vets, you know, I'm looking forward to learning a lot from those guys because uh, one day I want to be the guy that leads, you know, the team, you know, to a championship. And uh, this, is the, this is the perfect time to start. I mean, it's, it's kind of unreal, you know. Uh, it's, it's like, wow, it's finally, it's finally happened. It's, it's here, you know. I, just walking around upstairs and, you know, driving here. And I was like, wow, it, I'm really a part of the Lakers, you know, and it's, it's crazy. Uh, I, I don't even, it hasn't really hit me yet, you know, but I'm just happy um, to be here and I'm going to make the best out of it. Well, you know, I'm young, you know, and coming from Orlando, you know, it's, you're going to have doubts when you, everybody's had doubts about any period in their life about moving, going to a new place, learning new things, you know, uh, coming to a new team, you know, all this stuff, you know, you're going to have doubts, you know, and, you know, that's where I was at, you know, having doubts about moving and, and being in a bigger city, you know, I'm going from, I-4 and 408 and OBT to the 405 and the, well, I don't even know the rest of the, the, play, the highways, you know, so it, it's, it's tough, you know, it, it, you're going to have a lot of doubts, but, you know, just being here, you know, seeing all the love, you know, from the fans here, it's been great, you know, and I'm just looking forward to, uh, to expanding, you know, uh, myself, I'm looking forward to, uh, being great here in LA and I'm looking forward to the future. Uh, well, just rehabbing, you know, being here, uh, it was great for my mind, my body, and my soul, you know, uh, just staying in a hotel is tough. And I don't know if, if I could have stayed in a hotel in any other city like this. Uh, so it's been hard, you know, but I'm just happy that it's all over with and I can breathe. Uh, well, uh, there's no timetable, you know, right now. Uh, whenever he says, you know, Dwight, you're free to play, then I'll get back on the court. You know, until then, I'm going to continue to rehab and uh, get my back stronger. And um, I haven't lost any weight, which is good. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting back on the court. Say it again. Well, you know, we'll see what the doctor says. You know, if I'm ready for open tonight, you know, I'll be there, but I'm not going to rush it. Uh, back is very serious. Uh, so I'm going to take my time and make sure I get back 100%, you know, because I want to give everybody 100%, you know, not 90, 80%. I want to give you guys everything I have. <laughs> Right now, it's all about the Lakers. It's all about the Lakers. You know, I'm here in L.A. now. This is Lakers Day. This is not about any other team. You know, uh, we're starting fresh here in L.A. 
and that's the only thing that matters. Well, it's tough, you know, uh, to – I don't want to try to compete with those guys, you know, but I want to bring my own flavor, you know, here to L.A. Uh, those guys, I saw a picture last night. It was like Mount Rushmore or something where they had, you know, all those guys up there. Well, he joined the, the list of heads up here with the Laker greats. And, you know, I'm like, hey, I want to be great in my own right. You know, I want to write my own history. And, you know, today is the, the first day, you know, of that history uh, where I get a, a, clean, a clean slate and I get an opportunity to start over, you know. So I want to thank God just for that opportunity to be able to start over, to have a second chance, you know, at playing basketball, you know, and uh, being with another organization. You know, not a lot of, not a lot of guys get this opportunity, and I'm going to make the, the, the most of it and the best of it. I think a lot of stuff, you know, that has been reported, you know, uh, has damaged, you know, me. Um, you know, but like I said, I have a second chance, and I'm going to make the best of it. I'm not going to change who I am because of what's happened in the past. You know, I've grown from it. i learned a lot. Uh, and I'm still young, you know, so I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to bump my head. You know, I'm pretty sure you bumped your head a lot, you know, but you've grown from it, right? You know, so I have an opportunity to do the same thing. And uh, this is the perfect time. You know, like I said earlier, I get an opportunity to learn from the best, you know, Kobe Bryant. I uh, get to learn from a guy like Steve Nash. And I get to learn from the old guy right here, you know. <laughs> so uh, I'm looking forward to this opportunity. Well, uh, I found out last night about 9 o'clock. Uh, I was getting a lot of text messages, and I, my Twitter was going, you know, crazy, uh, DMs and everything, you know. Congratulations. I'm like, what happened? I didn't, you know, I, I didn't watch TV or anything. And I was sitting in the room with my agent, and uh, he uh, was on the phone, and he came and gave me the thumbs up. I, I can't run right now, but I, I started to trot and jog out, <laughs> out of his house, and I was just so excited. And I even, he didn't even give a chance to tell me goodbye. You know, I was just so excited. And then uh, it was on the radio. I went to eat last night, and everybody at the restaurant was, welcome to L.A., you know. I was like, wow, this is, this is big, you know. Uh, so it's crazy. I don't know if I really slept, you know. Uh, turned on TV on ESPN, and it was just everything was about the Lakers, you know, me coming here. So... Like I said, it's been crazy. Wait, you've been it's very humbling. You know, like I said, um, I appreciate, you know, things more, you know, than I did, you know, before you know, I had the surgery. You know, I've always been, you know, a pretty humble guy, I think. Uh, but this has really showed me a lot of things, you know, on the business side, on the personal side, you know, on the spiritual side. You know, every side of my life, you know, has been touched, you know, through this injury. You know, I appreciate um, things a lot more now, like I said, than I did. You know, just the first time I stepped into a gym to touch a ball to shoot free throws, you know, it just felt great. Uh, the first time seeing you guys up there, I was like, wow, I haven't seen media in so long. I've heard about them. I've seen the things they've been saying, but I haven't seen them, you know, and I miss you guys. You know? And I forgive you guys, you know, even some of you guys, you know, I forgive you guys, you know, but uh, <laughs> Stephen A., you said some, Skip Bayless, I forgive you, man. <laughs> hey, but I'm just happy, you know, that all this is behind me now. You know, I can move forward. And I'm looking forward to uh, putting on this jer jersey and putting on the arm sleeves and uh, sweating again. I'm looking forward to it. Well, it was very tough, you know. Uh, 
But I felt like I needed to really just rehab, you know, and not really focus on what was being said. You know, um, you wake up every day and people are, you know, saying things about you. It's very tough to stay focused on what you have to stay focused on. So instead of me trying to go back and forth or come out and make statements about this or that, you know, I really want to just focus on getting healthy and coming back stronger, you know, and I think that's better than, you know, fighting about things that I can't control. Right now, I'm excited about today. You know, we're not, uh, I'm not going to talk about signing any papers. That's okay. Hey, right now, I'm excited. You know, I'm, nobody's going to take away that joy that I have right now about being in L.A., being on the Lakers team. So none of that stuff matters right now. I'm just excited to be here, you know, and, you know, that's it. You know, I got my Lakers jersey right here. You know, so I'll be putting it on right now, and uh, that's the only thing that matters. I've had a lot of dreams about putting on this Lakers jersey and uh, being here in L.A. and playing with Kobe Bryant, and, you know, now I'm here, you know. So, um, like I said, whatever happened before today is, is, is history to me. It's the past, and... Um, you know, I'm looking forward to this new beginning. Well, you know, there's there's a lot of things that have been said that, you know, upset me. You know, the biggest thing was, you know, me quitting on my team or me faking the injury. You know, uh, anybody who knows me, you know, and, and they know what I'm about, I would never quit on anything and I would never fake an injury. You know, I've never been a quitter. You know, I've always been somebody who's pushed through the end. You know, I've had injuries before, but I've never said anything about them. You know, I played through them. I played through a lot of things, you know, so I've never been a quitter. And uh, that's, that's about it, you know. Um, never been a quitter. Well, I'm just going to do what I do best, have fun and play ball, you know. I'm not going to try to step out of that and be somebody I'm not. You know, I'm going to have fun and um, take on anything um, with my head held high. And uh, the cape has been in the, in the back in the hotel just chilling, you know. So I'm going to bring the cape out and uh, iron it and get it, get it ready to go. Uh, well, th my job, you know, right now is to uh, be the best defender I can for this team. I think that's one of the reasons why, you know, uh, the Lakers, you know, wanted me here uh, to defend, you know, and be a big presence on the defensive end. Uh, and I've always been a guy that, that likes to dominate, you know, both ends of the floor. And that's not having the ball or anything like that, but just controlling the paint on both ends and, that's what I want to continue to do here. Well, hopefully I am, you know, but until then I'm going to continue to rehab, continue to get my back stronger, you know, get my mind stronger, and uh, continue to uh, learn about L.A. Well, uh, I, like I said, I haven't really paid attention to anything, you know. I'm just happy that I'm here, you know. Uh, I'm happy to be a part of the Lakers organization. Well, well Kobe's going to be Kobe, and I'm going to be Dwight, you know. Um, I pr probably off the court, I might add a couple years, you know. <laughs> uh, but Kobe's going to be Kobe, you know, and uh, he's going to be who he is. I, I, there's no stopping that, you know. He's played with somebody like myself, you know. Um, so it, I'm not going to try to to change who he is, and I'm not going to change who I am, you know. I'm going to have fun and do what I do, you know. 
Um, and that's what's got me here today, you know, so I'm not going to change it. Oh, thank you, by the way. All right. Who are you going to work on the voices of the Lakers? Are you anywhere in mind that you're just going to entertain? Uh, probably Pal. Pal. Uh, you know, after hearing him a while, uh, I might work on that one. And then I would have to go with um, Run. Run. That's going to be tough, but, you know, I think I can do it. Uh, like I said earlier, you know, uh, today is about the Lakers. There's no need to go back, you know, to what happened with the Magic. You know, I've had eight great years in Orlando, and um, I'm going to miss the fans. I'm going to miss the city, you know, but it's, it's time for my ch uh, change for me. And it's time for a change uh, in Orlando, you know, so uh, this is the first day. It's been crazy, you know, uh, at the hotel, you know, uh, every day, you know, uh, the first couple weeks of rehab, you know, I, I can only walk and uh, I would just walk around, you know, uh, the place where I'm staying and uh, just people from all over, you know, would just stop the mailman every day. Little kids, I remember as a girl, she um, just ride her bike every day and she, you got to come to the Lakers, you just got to do it. And she would start singing, and, you know, she would just tell everybody, Dwight's my new best friend. You know, we just, uh, we, we had, you know, uh, fun, you know, just walking around, you know, just people here just being so nice, you know, and uh, just just great. And they did a, a great job of recruiting, and uh, just thank you guys for uh, everything that you did. So why out of the hotel now that you're going to be here for a time? I don't know. I kind of <laughs> like the hotel. I kind of <laughs> like it. Uh, <laughs> Well, you know, I'm just looking forward to uh, just having fun here in the city, you know, uh, doing what I do best on the court, you know, but off the court, you know, supporting the other teams here. Uh, the Dodgers games have been great. You know, uh, my favorite part is singing the, at, during the seventh inning stretch, take me out to the ball game. That's, for some reason, it's, it's extra fun, you know, now. Uh, I haven't really been to a, a baseball game uh, until now, so it's been a lot of fun. I don't know what's going to happen, you know, but as of right now, you know, I'm excited, you know, and uh, got to learn how to, to block all those, you know, boos or whatever may happen out. Uh, but every place that I go to, you know, whatever city I'm at, you know, I've always had fun. I love the fans in every city, you know, the boos, the cheers, the whatever they say, it, it's all fun. It's all love. Um, and I know their job is to distract us, you know, so the other team can win, you know. Uh, but I'm just looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. Superman. That's, that's my name. <laughs> Well, while it certainly took a lot longer than most deals take, um, you know, obviously, you know, this has been going on for quite some time. You know, we actually had discussions prior to the trade deadline back in March. Uh, nothing really ever got uh, to the point where we felt there'd be a deal. In fact, to uh, credit 
Rob Hennigan, the GM of Orlando, it got to the point where, quite frankly, for me, it was frustrating. And what he was doing was, you know, his job, which was to, to sort out and seek out the best possible deal for the organization. Um, so up until two days ago, um, you know, I didn't feel there would be a deal to get Dwight here to Los Angeles. But on Wednesday afternoon, um, we got a call from Rob uh, making a proposal. And here it is, less than 48 hours later. Um, yesterday was a pretty fast-moving you know, day negotiating. Uh, but last night, we had a four-team conference call. And uh, we all agreed um, to keep it quiet, <laughs> the four teams. And 20 minutes later on my ride home, somebody had the exact deal on the radio. <laughs> but having done this for so many years, um, there really wasn't a comfort level until this morning. We had the trade call at 9 o'clock, and the deal was done. Mitch, uh, overall, <clears throat> You know, um, since, uh, I mean, the organization came here in 1960, and the Bus family, and I recognize Jeannie's here and Jimmy, um, and I believe Jesse's here. I didn't know if I saw Joey or not. Are they here? Okay, but since they bought the franchise in 1979, it just seems like uh, they've always figured out a way to make good things happen. And, um, you know, there's an expression that it starts at the top, and I think that expression holds true here. Well, the first thing was we come here and practice. They tell us that those are not the real, you know, trophies. <laughs> you know, so when I got up there, they said those are the trophies. I was like, well, let me touch one. <laughs> uh, so I didn't know that those were real, the real trophies. So that's why I was up there, you know, touching the trophies and um, making some wishes. No more home runs. Yeah. <laughs> One last question on the flight. You mentioned Glenn Cleveland starting five on paper. Where do you rank the starting five on the flight against any other starting five? <laughs> well, I just want to win, you know, and um, I can't do get into the rankings and all that stuff. Uh, but like I said, you know, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to have a fresh start um, here. I want to thank everybody who's been with me during this whole process. Um, everybody that has been a part of me, you know, even the people on Xbox that I play with on a daily basis. Thank you, my Xbox clan. Appreciate you guys. Uh, but, but again, you know, this has been a it's been a tough summer. You know, but it's finally over, and I'm looking forward to uh, just starting fresh here today and uh, making history here for myself and uh, for the organization. So um, thank you guys uh, for putting up with me for uh, this time. Uh, it's going to be better, so that's it. as the L.A. Lakers say hello to Superman, this is what Orlando is saying goodbye to. A player who ranks first in points, free throws, rebounds, and blocks. Remember, he is the three-time reigning Defensive Player of the Year in the NBA as well.